On today's show, we're going to show you how to build one of these two by four uh, raised garden beds. And uh, these are constructed out of 14 uh, treated two by fours. Uh, from my experience, you get about five to seven years of useful life out of these. And you may can see that we, one of our six here has deteriorated and is falling in on us. So this is the one that we're going to replace and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So stay tuned. If we haven't met yet, my name is David, and in my videos I try to share with you my experiences in trying to save a few bucks on household repairs and maintenance, as well as just some DIY projects. Uh, we also have some, some things on the channel related to ATV, uh, boat repair and maintenance. So if these things seem to be something that you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. First piece we're gonna work on is the, the legs, and the leg consists of three pieces. It's gonna be the, the long leg, we'll call this the long leg portion at 31 and 3 quarter inches, the upper leg at 18 and 3 quarter inches, and the lower leg at 9 and 1 quarter inches. If you want to take notes right now, that's fine, but also we will summarize all this information at the end and I'll give you that, uh, that time stamp of when you could just fast forward to later in the video. The materials you're going to need for this project are 14 8 foot 2 by 4s, preferably treated, and a box of 2 and a half inch deck screws. So the tools you're going to need for this are going to be our old favorites and a pencil, tape measure. You can't go wrong with a Swanson Speed Square. Uh, you're going to need some way to cross cut the wood, whether it be a miter saw or just a hand saw. And we're going to need to make a couple of rips, which could be done with either a table saw or a circular saw. Let's get started cutting those three and one, 31 and 3 quarter inch long legs. Since we're going to need four of these pieces, we can use our first piece that we cut as a template and go ahead and cut the, the rest of these. So let's assemble the legs. I forgot to tell you earlier, you, you, you are going to need a power drill if you're going to use two and a half inch deck screws. So we're going to take a long leg, an upper leg, and a lower leg to make this piece. And you can see there's a gap right here. What that's gonna serve as is a place for the, the cross member to, to go in. So we'll put just a few deck screws. We're not gonna go crazy on this. I really like these, by the way. These are uh, Griprite Prime Guard Plus, and I got those from Lowe's. And we'll just put another one here, another one here, 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 here. Just kind of stagger those up. I'd also like to mention one of the things I really like about uh, these boxes is that they, they save your back, which is not what I'm doing right now. But they make it easier for you to garden, um, you know, without bending over and working in the weeds. They're also, uh, they keep out the rabbits, they keep out the dogs. They, uh, they allow you some, some more sunlight that you would have in, in a cramped backyard that you might not otherwise have. Sorry guys, I hope you can hear that. Okay, so the pieces we're going to cut next are the long sides and the short sides. We'll start with the long sides first because they meet up flush with the legs that we just cut. Okay, so the long side pieces are going to be 3 feet 11 and 3 quarter inches long. We'll need six of those, so that's going to absorb three of those two by fours. Okay, so this is our sixth and final long side. Now we can start attaching these to our legs. And you'll see that I've positioned the gap inward, and that's going to allow the, the cross member to go in behind the rest of the leg. So uh, for these, this is where our speed square is going to come in handy. You can put that there and just line up your top here and just make sure that thing is perfectly square before you start screwing these in. And again, I'm just going to put probably a screw here and a screw there.
You just repeat this process with the other two long legs, attaching those in the same manner. Okay, now that we have all of our long pieces attached, we, we want to go ahead and cut our short side pieces, which are two feet, four inches long each. We have three per side, so a total of six. Okay, and for these pieces, we'll cut down two of the eight foot two by fours, and then we'll use one of the uh, scrap pieces that we had from before. Okay, so now that you have your eight short sides cut, we're gonna want to arrange these other pieces in a way that we can attach the short ones. So we'll kind of set this here. This is a good time if you have a flat surface, it's really gonna help with this. Okay, so now you have your two foot, four inch uh, short sides cut. You're gonna wanna just, we'll stack those and attach them just like we have the other ones. Um, your, your speed square, you can just double check with that. Though if you're doing this on a flat surface, surface it should be uh, pretty straight. So we'll just do this here. That actually needs some of that. And now, this is where it's handy to have somebody help you. If you can have somebody help you by holding this together in a, in, a, in a straight manner, that's what you would do right here. I'm going to, we'll cut the film and then we'll, um, we'll pick up here in a minute. And now that we've done that side over there, we can come over to this one and do the same thing over here where we square it up and just put us two or three screws here in this. Good to go. We'll keep going. We'll, we'll go. We'll stack these up and do the same on the other side down there, and then we'll be ready to uh, attach our cross brace. Okay, so the next pieces we're going to do, while we already have the table upside down, is we're going to do these cross braces right here. They should be around 25 inches, but to make sure yours fits exactly, you may just want to go ahead and measure it because they could be just a little bit different based on whether or not these have bowed out some. I should also say that it's a good idea to use eye protection anytime you're working with power tools and especially saws. These, it's just as easy as you would think. Just a matter of slapping that in there, and we'll put two screws here, two screws there. Okay, so the next piece that we're going to work on is this side rail piece right here, and you may can even see this spot right here. That's a that's a slat, but we need to make this on the ends that are right here. Um, you know, this is gonna be a shorter, shorter slat that goes across here, so we need these two rails. So let's go uh, measure out the rails and take a look at that. So the old bed is really starting to come together. Let's take a look, once we flip it over, right there, let's take a look at, this should be 41 and a half for our plans. Pretty close there, so we're gonna take a two by four, and we don't need the whole thing, so we're going to, uh, We'll, we'll, make a, we'll cut a 41 and a half inch piece and then we'll rip it right down the middle to get two pieces. One for here and one for here. And we'll just set our table saw to where the board is at the very bottom of, yeah, there we go. With the table saw set to one and three quarter inches, we'll just go ahead and re rip this board. And your mileage may vary on these. I preferably, I like to use the, um, the cut side up here and you'll just flush this thing up at the bottom and a uh, little handy vise like this is, can come in handy if you're just trying to hold that and you don't have an extra set of hands. So we'll go ahead and we'll just tack this thing down in a few places. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side. And by this point in the project, you should have a few pieces of, of wood that you can cut down into two and three quarter inches long 
and rip them just like you did these other rail pieces. And so we'll take these and we'll just kind of flush them up there and let's see. And at this point we are done with our screw gun. The rest of the assembly will be done just laying those bed pieces in place. Uh, the two specialty cut bed pieces that we're going to need initially are a uh, 17 and a half long ripped to three inches. We'll need one for this side and one for the opposing side. The rest of these bed pieces are going to be 23 and uh, 20, I'm sorry, 23 and 24 and three quarters. We'll get going on those and then we'll just start laying those in place. Uh, one of the things that you might want to think about though is this thing's going to be pretty heavy. If you want to um, lighten your load on that, you want to go ahead and put this thing in place first before you actually put those bed pieces in here. And there's our 17 and a half. Uh, now we're going to need to cut uh, those 24 and 3 quarter inches pieces. We'll do uh, 11 of those and then we'll have to do a specialty cut at the end to make everything snug up. And at this point we can just start laying our bed pieces in here. We're dry fitting these at this point just to see what our middle gap is going to be. And so for us, we have two inches here, and if I squeeze it maybe two inches down here, yours may not work out like this, but I'm going to go ahead and just do a two inch ripped piece at 24 and three quarters, and we'll snug that piece in there. fits just fine. So now all we have to do is, is take all these out and move the box to its final resting place and then put them back in. And now here we have to uh, dismantle this old box before we get it out of here but I wanted to share a quick tip with you um, and you can call me a cheapskate but these screws are reusable there's nothing wrong with them you can uh, take those Oh, take those and just put them in a bucket and use them for another project. And guys, right here, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and drill about nine quarter inch holes for drainage. As promised, here are the measurements used throughout the video uh, for the different pieces used in the bed. Here's our new box sticking out like a sore thumb with the rest of the boxes. You can see that we took the old dirt uh, out of the box and we're just going to need to put that back in. But I'm going to call this a success. Uh, and all the project took us about four hours and that was including uh, me filming this so it's not too bad. If you have any questions, comments, please leave those below. Uh, you know, if if if, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, uh, consider subscribing, and hope to see you soon.